Welcome to Little Workroom Crafts. My name is Davina and I live in the southeast coast of the UK. Right, we all know what today is. We have got some beauties again. You are so clever. <laughs> oh my gosh, before I go into what we've been up to, I have got to tell you about Monday. Well, after I finished recording and I was editing. Yes, I was still up in the Little Workroom and I was editing. The weather, my goodness me the weather people on the tv the next day were absolutely so excited <laughs> with what was going on the wind was unbelievable we had the most horrendous rain hailstones thunderstorms and sunshine all over the day one after the other and a repeat 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 and it was just so weird and it just kept going as if like someone was outside switching the light off. Literally, it's just switching the light off. Talk about that, that's better. Switching the light off. And um, it was just so, so weird. It was like as if it was midnight and then it was sunshine and the rain and the hailstones. Oh my gosh, yes, it was a bit weird. And then yesterday weren't much difference. It was as bad. And we didn't have any thunderstorms, but it was just unbelievable. And then last night, it the temperature just went boom and plum, plummeted, honestly. And I even slept in and well, one, of my other, one of my other cardigans. Oh, I know, I never do that. And um, But today, it's, it's cold. I do like, you know that. And it's the blue skies... But this is just the wind again. It's just the wind. So, <laughs> I know. It was just so weird. It really, really was a weird day on Monday. And then uh, yesterday, oh my gosh. I've got to show you this quickly. I'll move over here because all the photographs will be brought here anyway. And then I'll get on to what we're here for. <laughs> and then uh, it was yesterday evening after tea. We'd had tea. And uh, Glenn got up and went upstairs and he shouted down to Vini, he said, have you seen Elmo? I said, well, he's upstairs in bed, isn't he? Because he always has his tea and then he has his little nap. And then he gets up at seven <laughs> and he has a couple of dreamies. And then um, we have playtime and then he asked to go to bed. He's got such a routine, that little boy. Anyway, he, um, and I went, well, he's, like, he's a bed, isn't he? He went, No. I went, is he under the bed? He was looking, if you could hear him walking from room. I said, he's got to be in my room on the windowsill looking outside. He went, Veen, he's not up here. Now, you know, as as a lot of you know, he he is an indoor cat. We live on the main road of this town. There's traffic continuously 24-7. And, you know, he, no. Nah. And he's too friendly anyway, bless his heart. <laughs> No, I'd be petrified. And he's never been out, you know, because we adopted him when he was eight, eight months. And he'd never been out at his previous home for the same reason. But, you know, he's fine. He's happy. He's loved. And uh, I said, well, none of us has opened any of the doors. I said, he's got to be in this house somewhere. And uh, I said, it's only a little two up, two down. I said, I said we... <laughs> do you know what I mean? Anyway, I got up off the chair to go in the kitchen and I happened to look over there to there this is where I found him he's got two cat beds and a double bed <laughs> to sleep on <laughs> and he decided to get inside my spare wall bag that I have over there I know and lay on my wall what more can I say about my baby boy he's on the windowsill there He's a honey, isn't he? <laughs> right then, anyway. Glenn is off again today, which is, has been, it's been lovely. It really has been lovely having some time together and having him home. He's going back to work tomorrow. <laughs> yeah, he's going back to work tomorrow, so yeah. <laughs> oh, dear me. 
Oh well, anyway, let's get on with what you're here for. And you're here for What Have You Been Up To Wednesday? Today is Wednesday the 17th of April 2024. And uh, yeah. <laughs> right then, let's hop right in. We have got loads, but oh my gosh, we have got such a mixture this week. It's brilliant. First of all, we are going to go over to Trisha. Hi which is in the southeast of the UK, where I am. <laughs> okay, and oh, this is gorgeous. I, as you know, I've knitted three of these now, and I'm tempted to cast on another one because I just love this pattern so much. Uh, this is the Whitmore, and uh, it's done by Amy Loudon from... Uh, she's changed her name again, isn't she? Oh, I don't know. Dandelion and Dogwood is the yarn that her and her sister do. I don't know if that's the same for her patterns, but just put in Amy Loudon on Ravelry and it comes up. Because I've, I've done the sweater uh, jumper as well, and I've done three cardigans, two for myself and one for Rebecca. And it is gorgeous, Trisha. The colour is amazing. It is done in a Win Wendy Supreme DK uh, acrylic, and it's gorgeous. Absolutely beautiful. What have I got there in that little box? I don't know what that is. Oh, well. Also, <laughs> she has embroidered. Oh, this is gorgeous, Trisha. It really is. It's a hand embroidery of the Tree of Life. It's for her sister's birthday present. Um, it's the uh, first... Oh, the first picture that she has done and she framed it herself. Oh, I bet your sister absolutely loved it. It is beautiful, Trisha. Well done. Absolutely amazing. Well done. Next up, we're hopping over to North Wales. To Wrexham. To Caroline. Hi. Now, right. This is... Yes, it is the one I'm thinking of. Yeah. This is... It's beautiful, isn't it? Right, so Caroline has knitted this jumper, honestly. It's the Salty Days sweater by Veronica Ling Lindberg. It's paid for pattern on Ralvery. It uh, start with the back, then you pick up the stitches for the shoulders, then eventually joining in the round. She has a tutorial on her YouTube channel as well. Um, which is, I ain't even going to try and pronounce the name. I'll put it on the screen. <laughs> Caroline uh, used just under 500 grams of Aran Knit from Stash, perfect, which is an 80% acrylic, 20% wool. Um, it is, honestly, this is the part. This actually is the second ever sweater that Caroline has ever knitted. Wow, that's what I'm going to say. Wow. Um, and she can't wait to knit another one. It's amazing. I've even written here, wow, amazing work. It is beautiful, Caroline. And for your second one, brilliant. Absolutely amazing. Well done. Okay, next up we have... Oh, yes. We have the lovely Sheila. Hi. Now, Sheila has crocheted this lovely toy. <laughs> Ogden is the name. Um, it's the Ogden pattern by Little Green Bear. It's made in sheepy, 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 sheepy that one, stonewash extra large. <laughs> Honestly, it's gorgeous. <laughs> It's so cute. Oh, brilliant. Absolutely brilliant. Oh, I love it. Absolutely love it. Honestly, Sheila, adorable. Absolutely cute. <laughs> Absolutely love it. Well done. I'm all right. I'm all right. I'm okay. Right then. So, Sheila, honestly, sorry about all that. Um, absolutely brilliant. Right then. Now we're going to... Newfoundland in Canada, the lovely Sharon. Hi, 
Right then, so Sharon has been sock knitting. Absolutely brilliant, these are. And thank you so much for putting the photograph in of the labels. Absolutely brilliant. So both of these socks are uh, vanilla socks and they're both knitted in an opal yarn. Labels are pictured and honestly, the colours are amazing, um, Sharon. They really are. And I love opal yarn. It's just got something about it and a bit more stability. It's lovely yarn. They're brilliant also, I've got to say. She sent a picture of her sweet little baby fur baby and the, he who had just come back from the spa oh my gosh no his name is billy buddy sorry and will be two on the 24th so happy birthday buddy from elmsy <laughs> honestly what a cutie pie he's a little yorkshire terrier oh he's gorgeous absolutely gorgeous so, oh, Sharon, how lovely. <laughs> but your socks are beautiful. Buddy's gorgeous. <laughs> Absolutely brilliant. Well done. Now we go to Texas <laughs> in the USA. So we've gone from England, Wales, Canada. And now we've got to the, the USA. It's amazing, isn't it? Oh, my dear, dear friend, Colleen. Hello, darling. Oh, she has finished this cross stitch. It's beautiful, Colleen. And it was she made it for her pasta, uh, pasta, sorry, um, who has a lovely singing voice. Oh, I bet he absolutely loved it. I really, really do. Oh, well done, Colleen. It's beautiful. Well done. Next up, we have the lovely Amanda. Hi, Amanda. Amanda has crocheted a blanket, yet again, gorgeous, gorgeous work. It's a sweet, the sweet pea blanket by Sue Rawlings. Now I've heard of that name before. Hmm. Sue Rawlings, it's gorgeous. The colours, yet again, I love the colours, but it's beautiful, Amanda. Well done. Now we go to Florida. <laughs> to the lovely carol hi carol right then another crochet blanket she finally made this one for herself normally she makes these blankets and gift them away uh, but this one she's keeping for herself um, it's in i love this yarn and it's in the sunset and trimmed with the oh it's in, it's in and it's in sunset it's trimmed with the same yarn but that one's called hot orchid it's a four weight acrylic it's beautiful okay. <laughs> do you know what i mean it is beautiful and i love the way that you have actually bought uh, like a solid around the outside of it it just really frames it lovely so carol absolutely brilliant well done and brilliant that you're keeping it as well. <laughs> so excellent. Now the lovely Lindsay. Hi. I hope you're feeling better. Oh, I really do. I know you've been out of a bit of a rough patch lately. So I hope that you're you're really feeling better. So uh, Lindsay has knitted the socks. The yarn is from my dear dear friend Jeanette from Crafty Cre Crafty Cre Creations. And she's used a contrast West Yorkshire spinners. It's because um, uh, Jeanette, she launched again. I think she did it last year as well. Maybe the year before as well. You know, I don't know if this is her second year or third year where she do the Cadbury's cream egg version. And it's brilliant, isn't it? Absolutely brilliant. The pattern that Lindsay used, which I think is gorgeous, is the uh, Kay Jones from the Bakery Bears. And it's called Fairground. Honestly, Lindsay, it's brilliant. Absolutely brilliant. The yarn is perfect. The um, the pattern just complements it brilliantly. So uh, well done. Well done. Next up is the lovely Barbara. Hi, Barbara. Now, Barbara, we're going on to patchwork and quilting. Started making a quilt. And um, it was originally going to be a large quilt. And it's from a book of oh, the book and templates she has actually already donated to the charity shop because she just knew that this was not going to be made into a quilt. So she, obviously, you know, she's got as far as she has and she's finished it off and made it into a wall hanging. 
honestly it's beautiful Barbara it really really is and that is you know what's good really about us um crafters you know we all do it not just in patchwork in everything you know the crochet knitting and and all that you know we can get so far and think oh, that is just not you know working for me so you know finish it as it is and that's absolutely gorgeous also Barbara uh fancied having a go at slow stitching she made a sewing holder and also a, a stitched piece this is amazing a stitch piece that has been at the back of her mind to do for years honestly those slow stitchings are absolutely gorgeous Barbara well done absolutely beautiful um so yeah oh gorgeous gorgeous now we're over at Australia <laughs> hi Sarah now Sarah is this is brilliant this is she's learning new variations of granny squares each month following along with a Cal crochet along by Jada stitches J A Y D A stitches it's a new square every month for 2024 now that does sound fun doesn't it and your squares are brilliant absolutely brilliant and what a brilliant way to learn different ways of putting stitches in and and different stitches you're learning absolutely brilliant sarah well done i think and the colors you've chosen is gorgeous i'd love it when you know at the end if you could send it in when it's all complete and finished because i just think that's going to be beautiful oh i don't know who you are at the front there no oh, a couple of people standing out the front <laughs> random uh, yeah honestly honestly sarah absolutely gorgeous right then last of today we are finishing off in the lovely st ives in cornwall well near st ives in cornwall i went to st ives when i was at school and it's beautiful down there i love cornwall anyway and to the lovely penny hi now penny has finished a spring top the yarn is was a birthday present which she got in February from her daughter and it's the Starcraft charm in Ripping Stream colourway. It's a lace weight, her own pattern again, or as Penny does. <laughs> And uh, it's beautiful. Absolutely. You've got to start writing your patterns out. You really do. Honestly, they're brilliant. Absolutely brilliant. So well done. The, uh, yet again, the colours are gorgeous. Also, Penny has made a pair of socks in opal. These ones, she put the shadow wrap heel on. Fortunately, Penny, it, they didn't. Get, the shadow wrap heel didn't click with Penny. And so she's gone back to her... Um, for her next pair, she's gone back to the uh, hill flap and gusset. I say, give them a go. You don't know unless you try. So, uh, absolutely brilliant. As you see on Monday, you know, I've done a couple of pairs with a shadow wrap, but I just had the urge to go back to me, me good old hill flap and gusset. <laughs> just got something about it, hasn't it? So, Penny, well done. Absolutely brilliant. Right then, so that's it this week. Didn't we have a lot? And we went around the world, no. So a uh, big well done. Um, I'll get it right. A big well done to everybody and a big round of applause. That's what I'm for. <laughs> to everybody. Honestly, absolutely brilliant. Oh dear me, what can I say? You are amazing. You really, really are amazing. So, if anybody would like to take part in what have you been up to Wednesday, this is the email address, littleworkmancrafts16 at gmail.com. <laughs> and, uh, you know what I mean, you know, just send over your pictures, a little bit of a bump from what you're doing. This is your part of Little Workman Crafts. This is you showing your work. You inspire so many people uh, when they watch this um you know this episode on a Wednesday um you know because there's patterns that you find that we don't and vice versa and honestly it's absolutely brilliant so if you have any work please send it in or if you have a day out and you know if you go it's what you have been up to it doesn't have to be craft related so look at that lady a few weeks ago when she I can't still can't believe it you know when she had uh, kangaroos in her garden you know <laughs> 
can't believe that. But hey ho. Okay, then right, I better disappear because this is like 20 minutes plus at the moment. Right then, so I will be back on Monday with a normal episode. So um, please take care, stay safe. And as always, my lovelies, happy crafting. Bye.